President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I stand before you this morning with a very, very heavy heart to present this motion heavily co-sponsored by two of my other colleagues from Lagos State, Senator Lure Nitinubu Owen from Lagos Central, as well as Senator Solomon Olamilekon Adeola, Lagos West. The Senate notes with great sadness the unfortunate petrol tanker inferno of Thursday, 28th June 2018, which took place along Otedola Bridge in Lagos State. Further note with sadness that a minimum of 12 people lost their lives while about 54 vehicles were reported to have been destroyed during the incident. Observe that the incident occurred due to a brake failure on the part of the fuel tanker, as reported by the Vanguard newspaper of Friday, 29 June 2018, which stated as follows. Nigeria on Friday faced calls for improved road and vehicle safety after nine people were killed when a petrol tanker with fuel brakes crashed and exploded, engulfing dozens of vehicles in the Lagos rush hour. Further observes that on Friday, June 29, 2018, it was reported that an explosion occurred after a fuel tanker collided with the trailer at Maje along the Minasuleja Road in Niger State. This was reported by nationonline.com. Recalls that on the 19th of June, 2018, at about 9 p.m., during the rush hour traffic on the Uju Elegba Bridge, portion of the popular Ekorodu Road, another articulated vehicle carrying a container load of goods filled and tilted and fell off the bridge, killing two persons and injuring another two, as reported by Vanguard also. Further records that in June of 2015, Mr. President, I brought in a motion on similar incidents, sponsored by myself and some other colleagues in the upper chamber. We had similarly examined the issues surrounding four fuel tanker accidents that occurred in Nigeria's two major cities, claiming lives and destroying property. This including the unfortunate tanker fire which occurred in the upper Iweka area of Odisha, in Anambra State, claiming a whooping 70 lives. Concerned that between 2015 and 2018, the same issues of fuel tanker infernos and accidents caused by articulated vehicles still bedevil our highways. Further concerned that there seems to be a clear trail of preventable human error, lack of roadworthiness, as the prevalent causes of these life-threatening accidents. Acknowledge that while the federal government has been working hard on revamping the Nigeria railway system, which will create an alternative approach to haulage of petroleum products and other containerized products, there is an urgent need to enforce strict driving rules and roadworthiness of all vehicles flying Nigerian roads, especially articulated vehicles also acknowledges the fact that the Lagos State Government, following the tanker explosion on Otedola Bridge on Thursday, has issued guidelines towards restricting the movement of tankers to designated trailer routes. The government also gave 30-day ultimatum for articulated vehicles to obtain roadworthiness certificate. Concerned that in order to ensure safer transportation of petroleum products across the country, there are asked to be a stricter enforcement of traffic safety rules by the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, the Nigerian Police Force, and all relevant security agencies across the country. Results. One, to observe one minute silence in memory of all those who died in the tanker fire of Thursday, 28th June. Two, 
urge the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, the Nigerian Police Force, and all relevant security agencies to cooperate with Lagos State and other states in ensuring that drivers of articulated vehicles comply with both federal and state traffic safety laws. Three, urge the Nigerian Police Force to work in conjunction with the Federal Road Safety Corps to carry out a thorough investigation of the circumstances leading to the accident that led to the fuel tanker fire with a view to prosecuting anyone found culpable in this preventable fire incident. And lastly, that the relevant committees of the Senate should invite the Federal Road Safety Corps and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC with a view to finding a legislative solution towards ensuring that before trucks are loaded, mandatory safety checks are put in place to ascertain the condition of the tank and the roadworthiness of the vehicles to all the products. On this note, I submit, Mr. President. Thank you. Senator Lira Michinibu.